Diary, hello, it is October 2023, and this is a hopefully foolproof guide on how to perfectly apply a screen protector to your mobile phone. Now in our household, uh, we divide up our tasks of responsibility and things like uh, measuring, that'll be my partner, uh, sawing, that would be me, and when it comes to applying screen protectors, I have the responsibility. So I'm going to show you what I've learned over the last couple of years, and these are the tips that are going to show you how to perfectly apply a screen protector. Let us start with the table of U implements. So on the left hand, there's a, the key thing we're, we're trying to get across is it's all about dust. So ideally, you want to be in a room without any distractions and with the minimum of dust. So in front of us, we've got a new mobile phone that needs a screen protector applying. We have a vacuum cleaner, which we're gonna to use to hoover up as much dust as possible from the immediate environment before we start. We've got a Leatherman, because Leathermans are always useful. We've got a head torch, which we're gonna use on my head, switched on maximum brightness, <clears throat> And that's going to be looking at the surface of this smartphone, which I can see just in the few seconds I've started to do this video, is already coupled, covered in specks of dust. I don't know if you can see that I'm angling it. Um, and we have wet wipes, which I use for my glasses, which are alcohol wipes. They are great for cleaning the surface of things like your smartphone. We have duct tape which I'm gonna to use to stick the back of the phone to the table, so that whilst I'm applying the screen protector, it doesn't jiggle up out of it. We have, oops, some Pronto, or Pledge, uh, furniture polish, which I'm gonna to use to, on the table around where I'm doing the job with this roll of a uh, kitchen towel, to again, to remove dust, and critically important, I have bought a screen protector with a frame applicator. So modern screen protectors, which I would always recommend to be solid glass, by the way, not. So you, you're trying to select a screen protector. This is a Spy, I should be, I should be getting commission, shouldn't I, SpyGen? Uh, SpyGen's a quality brand. So this is a hard screen protector. In other words, it's not a, a flexible screen protector. Um, it's come with all sorts of gizmos, but most importantly, it's come with this frame. And this frame is going to go around the smartphone so that when I put the screen protector onto it, it fits perfectly and is aligned perfectly. And I can't stress how important it is. Personally, I would not buy a screen protector for a phone which doesn't have this frame because otherwise, once applied, if the screen protector is just slightly off, I'd be forever looking at the screen, screen and the screen protector going, Hmm, you know what, that's a little bit off. So that's the end of the introduction. The next is the actual application. So I'm going to go away and do some cleaning of the environment and we'll come back and we will continue. Okay, so we are going to apply the screen protector. Everything's in the right place. The door is closed. The cat has been removed. The area has been sufficiently cleaned. I'm going to use the spectacles cleaner first of all to clean the front surface of this brand new smartphone. So I've removed what I can say is the dust from the surface. I'm gonna now use the special SpyGen lens and cleaning wipe, just in case theirs is somehow better. Uh, SpyGen is a company I've used for many products. Uh, they are quite expensive, but let's imagine you're paying several hundred pounds or dollars for a smartphone, and then you go and skimp on the screen projector. To me, that's not a great idea. So I've got my head torch on, by the way, if you can see it shining onto the surface, and that's gonna help me remove all the dust. Right, so, that's part two. I've got this cloth, again, time is of the essence. Now, surface is clean. I've prepared this beforehand so I know it goes this way round. I've read the instructions, putting it, this frame onto the surface of the phone. <clears throat> now, a very important point, the dust removal stickers, because using my head torch, see there's a dust, there's a dust spot there, a dust spot there. Like I 
say, if you do it wrong, for the duration of the life of you looking at your smartphone, you're going to be thinking, I wish I hadn't done it wrong. Just bits of fragments of spots of specks of dust. Provide two protectors in case you muck it up. Getting it out here. Now I'm folding this down and quickly checking, double checking, no dust, letting it drop in. And there's the top of this screen protector. It's got dust on it. And, uh, right, so I'm doing what it says, it's pressing and sliding. Let's get my wet wipe and just try and remove some of those specks. Oh, I think I've got a speck of dust there. Damn it. Damn it, damn you. So you can see, <clears throat> we can see that. Uh, they come with a little trowel. With that trowel, I'm going to try and just get all the air bubbles out. Uh, my other tip is to keep these little trowels for your next attempt, because they are very handy. Oh, do you know what? There's a, there's a fraction speck there, so don't do what I did kids, which is not pay attention to the top of the screen protector, which had a bit of dust on it. Right, so I think we're pretty much perfect, basically. Let's come off. Check the instructions. Oh, it says take that off first. Oh, we'll do that then. That is that. So apart from this tiny, there's a tiny, 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 tiny speck there, one tiny speck, which looks like it has got past me. If I find that sufficiently annoying, I will repeat the whole process with the second screen protector that they've given me. But for now, it's going to be as is. And of course, the next step would be to apply the case because when you spent over a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars on a smartphone, the last thing you want to do is drop it and ruin it, having just purchased it. So I thoroughly recommend a screen protector and a, for me, slim and lightweight case on your smartphone to protect it for its life duration. Thank you for watching. Okay, and a final glimpse at the protected product. We have the smartphone with the screen protector applied and I've gone for a spy gen case, as thin as possible, the thin case. And you'll notice that uh, because of the very irritating uh, Google design, which I'm still not believing is, is a very good one, you have this bump here and you need to have a case, in my opinion, which is actually gonna protect this lens. So the case, if you can see, stands proud of the lens. So when I put the uh, phone on a table like this, we can be guaranteed that this lens does not get in any way scratched. Because there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a finite lip from the glass to the edge of this case. And of course, because they've designed this bump, we have a bump and the next second bump. So uh, I'm not a fan, I think it's inefficient, but it's the design language and uh, I'm, I don't think Google's listening and, uh, and hasn't changed the design for the eight because I did comment on this on the six and the seven. Anyway, it is what it is. The phone is now as protected as it can be. 
and it can bravely step into the real world. Thank you for watching.